It's no secret that Florida, specifically Jacksonville, has become a hot destination for people to move to. I talk to a lot of out-of-state buyers who definitely have a couple things in mind when they move here. A lot of times they like Jacksonville because of its affordability compared to other cities. They also love the tax benefits and investment opportunities that Florida has to offer. And they're oftentimes moving here for a job in a new industry. But the thing that just about all my buyers have in common is their love for the beach, and that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Ashley. I'm a realtor here in Jacksonville Beach and the surrounding areas. Chances are, if you've clicked on this video, you're considering making a move here and hoping to get to know a little bit more about Jack's Beach. So in this video, we're gonna be covering cost of living, things to do, job opportunities, and much more. So let's jump right into it. All right, everyone, before we get started, if you have any questions about today's video or wanna get in touch with a local expert here, be sure to reach out to myself or someone on the team by emailing us at info at therocogroup.com. We'd love to get you into your dream home here in Jacksonville Beach. So starting out with our first topic, and it's usually one of the main questions we get from buyers, you might be curious to know what the cost of living is like here in Jack's Beach. Now, while your expenses will typically be higher the closer you get to the beaches, you may be surprised to find that Jack's Beach is actually more affordable than other beach communities in Florida. If you're set on the idea of living in Northeast Florida or the surrounding areas of Jacksonville, you will find that housing, food, and entertainment are gonna be more cost-effective than other major cities in Florida, such as Orlando, Tampa, or Miami. Additionally, many of our out-of-state buyers really appreciate receiving the tax benefits here in Florida while living in the northern part of the state. But again, if you want specific numbers, be sure to reach out to our team. On the note of Jack's Beach being in the northern part of the state, another thing a lot of our buyers appreciate is that we actually get all four seasons here in Jacksonville. So a lot of people think moving here means it will be hot all year round. And don't get me wrong, we certainly certainly have our hot summers and our warm year-round weather, but don't be surprised when it gets cool here in the fall and winter months. And you might even see some frost on your windshield in the winter. But all in all, you will still see people enjoying the outdoors year round here in Jacksonville Beach. Okay, moving on to our next topic for you to consider, what does Jack's Beach have to offer for you specifically? Now, I like to think that Jacksonville Beach has something to offer everyone. So the way I'm going to break this section down is to explain what might be attractive to you here based on your household. Let's start out with singles and young couples. If you're thinking about making a move here, you're probably gonna be attracted to the active life Style Jack's Beach has to offer. On an average day here, you will see a ton of runners, bikers, dog walkers, rollerbladers, and just really any type of water sport you can imagine. Another thing that comes to my mind for singles and couples moving here is our bar and restaurant scene. Jack's Beach has a really energetic nighttime scene and nothing beats getting some food and drinks with friends at the bars and restaurants right off the sand. So if I had to summarize what makes Jack's Beach attractive to singles and couples, it would definitely be the opportunities for activity and social life here. Now moving on to our viewers with families, you might be wondering what it's like to raise a family here. Well, what I touched on earlier about the active lifestyle is also another reason why families love Jack's Beach as well. As a local, I would consider Jacksonville Beach to be one of the most popular choices for beach days here. You'll definitely see a lot of families both on the beach and riding bikes around town. We will talk about conveniences later, but one of the things that families love most about living here is just how close they are to all the essentials. You really don't have to drive a long distance or cross a bridge to get to the closest grocery store or bank. And this is of course something that our retired community loves as well. For those of you considering retirement here at the beach, I would definitely recommend our area if you're looking for a beach town with a more mild climate. We talked earlier about seasonality, but many of our retired buyers specifically love Jacksonville Beach because they get to enjoy all four seasons with very mild winters. Beyond seasonality, another thing that you might find attractive about the area is the Jacksonville Beach Golf Club. You have only about a five to 10 minute drive to this course from about anywhere in Jack's Beach, which is why a lot of locals love it for that close proximity. Okay, moving on to our next topic, let's talk amenities and recreational opportunities here in Jack's Beach. So you probably already know how awesome Jacksonville Beach is, but there is a lot of other cool things to consider. You've got beach clubs, spas, and resorts, Seawalk Pavilion for community events such as Deck the Chairs, music festivals, and 904 pop-up, tons of parks in and around the area for pickleball and tennis, options for food and drink with a great mix of chain and local, and just outside of Jack's Beach, you have the Beaches Town Center and the Intracoastal Waterway for boating and other water activities. So you'll really have a lot of options for things to do on an average day here. For our next thing to consider when moving to Jacksonville Beach, you might wanna know what kind of community feel it has. It's one thing to have access to fun things and places to eat, but many buyers are wondering what it's like to actually be a part of the community here. If you've watched our other videos, you may have heard us talk about other Jacksonville neighborhoods having that small town feel in a big city, and I like to think that applies to Jack's Beach as well. I would describe Jack's Beach as very neighborly and connected between your full-time residents, run clubs, groups that may even go to church together, the events at the Seawalk Pavilion, you get that sense of togetherness that you may miss in other beach communities. 
And of course, at the end of the day, when you live at the beach, you may even find yourself embracing that laid back beach lifestyle that so many of the locals here have. And speaking of locals, another thing you may be curious about here in the beach area is the job market. Now, a huge reason many people are moving here is for the employment opportunities at Mayo Clinic. If you're working in the healthcare industry, you probably already know about this facility right off the of San Pablo Road, which is only about a 10 to 20 minute drive from the beach. So naturally, you will probably meet a lot of fellow Mayo Clinic employees in and around the Jack's Beach area. Now, one thing you might want to consider if you work in another area is how long your commute may be. You're looking at anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes to get to the south side area and 25 to 35 minutes to get to downtown. It's really dependent on the day and how bad traffic is, but living in Jacksonville Beach could be a deal breaker for you if you want to avoid those potentially long morning and afternoon commutes. And still on the topic of travel, you should know about some other notable locations nearby and how long it may take you to get there from Jack's Beach. If you're the type of person who loves day trips and doesn't want to be tied down to your neighborhood every weekend, you'll definitely want to consider the proximity to these places. So you're looking at 20 minutes to the St. John's Town Center, about 40 minutes to the airport, 50 minutes to downtown St. Augustine, and two and a half hours for that day trip to Disney World in Orlando, just to name a few. Okay, lastly, as I mentioned earlier, we would be talking about conveniences. So let's chat about that. Now you may be getting a better picture of what it looks like to live in Jacksonville Beach, but for those of you that haven't been here before, you might be pleasantly surprised by how self-contained it is. Like I said earlier, if you're from out of state, you may be used to beach towns where you have to drive a long distance or cross a bridge to get to the side of town that has all of your day-to-day -day needs. But the thing about Jacksonville Beach is that many of these conveniences are just a short drive or even a golf cart or bike ride away. Entering Jack's Beach off 202, or JTB as we like to call it, you'll see a shopping center with a bunch of different retailers such as Home Depot, Ross, Trader Joe's, and even Target just south before getting into Ponte Vedra Beach. Traveling north of A1A, you will pass more fast food, coffee, clothing, gym options, a Whole Foods, and a Publix at the corner of Beach Boulevard. So again, your day-to-day -day needs won't be hard to find when you have such quick access to shop so close to the beach. All right, everyone, hopefully today's video has helped you answer the question, should you move to Jacksonville Beach? If you've liked what you've heard today and wanna to get connected with a team of local experts who might even be able to get you into your dream home before it hits the market, email us at info at therockogroup.com and we'd be happy to assist. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not quite ready to make the move yet, but want to stay in the loop, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great content from all over Northeast Florida, and we'll see you in the next one.